Grandpa, it's been hours. Let's just get a mechanic. Rob can just tow us to town. No. All I need to do is connect these two cables. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, this isn't good. Grandpa! Wait, yeah. wait, kids, I can fix this. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Yes, I do. Just give me a few more minutes with it. Uh, Grandpa, just let it go and we'll find a mechanic. I've been taking care of the rust bucket since the very beginning. I know the ins and outs of this baby. Mechanic. mechanic. I could easily have fixed her. Aw, don't be such a grumpa. <sighs> hey, Ben, are you ready to go? Wrath is always ready. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it feel great to be up and running again, Grandpa? <clears throat> Hey, Ben! There's a town up ahead! Got it! Hmm? Is something the matter, Ben? Wrath found an arm? Something's not right here. Okay, this is creepy. You think anybody's there? If it's another mannequin, I'm gonna scream. No! I don't like it! I don't like it! Oh, uh, what? You don't like the mustache? Ah, oh, Barry, I told you mustaches don't suit my complexion. <laughs> He's quite the car whiz, but not exactly the best when it comes to fashion advice. So, what can we do for you? Okay, I'll go ahead and ask. Where are all the people? Oh, uh, what you talking about? Everyone's here. I mean, it's not like all the work dried up, so everyone left, and this is a ghost town except for me, so I replaced everybody with mannequins to keep me company. <laughs> Right. My grandpa's rust bucket is in need of some repairs. You don't say. Well, not to worry, we can have her up and running in a jiffy. <laughs> Barry, we got a new job! Grab my tool belt! Oh! <laughs> Good one! We'll go take a look under the hood. Hmm, let's see here. Eesh, Barry, whoever tried to fix this really did a number on it. <clears throat> so, do you think you'll be able to fix it? It might take a while, but we can fix it. How long is a while? Well, judging by the amount of botched repairs, I'd say, end of the day. Botched repairs? All day? Now, don't you worry. This town may be small, but it's not short on attractions. We've got a lovely diner, a cafe, a gift shop, and... Uh, what's that, Barry? You know we can't allow anyone near that. What do you mean I can't let things go? No, it is not the only reason I didn't leave. Yeah, well, I would take a vacation if I wasn't so busy protecting it. Okay, that is true. Barry, you know, you really do have a way of convincing people. It's settled. Y'all seem like nice enough folks, so you're more than welcome to check out my prized collection at the Grand Central Library. My wife's the librarian, so she'll let you right in. Feisty little redhead, you can't miss her. A library? Funny, I wouldn't take you as a library person. Oh, I am. Otherwise, I'd just go crazy. Here, Barry, hold my belt. Oh, wow, this place looks great, doesn't it, Grandpa? Yeah, I promised myself that I'd never step foot in a library during summer vacation, so I'll just take my chances out here. Suit yourself. And try and stay out of trouble, will ya? Wow, this place is huge! Whoa! Oh, feisty little redhead. <laughs> As if that guy couldn't get any weirder. Oh well, at least we can chill out and read. What? Where are the books? There's not much here. So much for a prized collection. Right, Grandpa? Uh, Grandpa?